Hey guys, uh, we're back, uh, everybody. Uh, uh, I went in and uh, I did a little bit of work and cleaned up on, on this uh, side right here in the back and worked a little bit more on the hat. Uh, but now that's the that's the piece right there we're working at. And I'm gonna set it down and, and uh, what I'd like to do is uh, go in and put the, in these uh, divots in this little uh, uh, raccoon hat here. So I'm gonna come in right in here and start making me, a, I use a, a 10 millimeter number nine gouge. And you, you go in and you make these little divot cuts like this. And we'll do the, a lot of texturing today. I am going to get up and do the eyes on them. Uh, raccoon hat. See what the texturing I'm doing right in there. And you might turn it around when the grain changes you on you. And this just gives it a, a ruffled look. And I'll show you. There's what the effect what we're what we're doing. And you see, uh, I put him back. And I come on in here and work some more. I you could use a, a smaller number nine on this. I like to, on these little cuts up here, I'd like to use a bigger number nine. But you just keep working at it. And you want to run these things together. You don't want to put a mark here and then one over here. And then you want to blend them together. Just like that right there. And I've just about got it here. And I'm going to stop here in just a minute and put my glove on. I, I failed to do that. Right, so you run that together. You really want to get... See, there's some space right in there I want to get. So I'll go in and divot that. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to turn around and get my glove. And we're going to put this glove on. Then I'm, I'm going to work on this. Now that I've got this divoted, uh, there's a place right there I need I like to really run these together. That's what you do. You, you set it down and go back over and look where you need to make more cuts. That's a good rule of thumb. When, when the carving's not going right for you, set it down and walk away from it for a few hours. Or not even a few hours, just a few minutes. And uh, generally when you come back, I know it with me, when I come back, I... I see what I was doing or what it needs to be done. Okay, I've got that divoted in up here. Now, right in here, I don't know if you can see my pencil line that I drew, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this little raccoon face on. Then I'm gonna take this little number nine and I'm gonna come in right up beside the, the bridge of that nose and then out to the side. I 
that on one side and I'll come in do it on this side and I'm gonna come down all the way to where that little nose is is sticking out like that right there can we see that there Peyton yeah all right now I'm gonna scoop this out right in here so we have a bridge of the nose right there and he, he really got he got some eye sockets in there and what we'll do we'll just put slits in there Yeah, grain changed on me. Now let's go in with a, a little upsweep knife and kind of cut back against that. having to recut that because when I was using that gouge I went in and and split this little corner there out right in there and you got to watch that as you work I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here and just kind of make me a little bit more deeper eye sockets like that right there now, right up in here, uh, where that dark area is, that is a that is a pencil mark. But I'm gonna go in and I'll come in here like this and make a triangle cut. And just take out that little diamond shape right in there. Can you see that on camera there, Peyton? Yep. Yeah, right there. You can see it right in there. All right, now I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. And you gotta be you gotta be careful on this here. You don't wanna cut this ear off. And it's just a little three stop cuts. And it'll pop out like that right there. Now I'm gonna come in here and shave that down just a little bit. And right in here, I'm gonna make a little nose kind of stick out a little bit more. When you look at the profile, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna Put me a line across in this nose area. And make that little point of the nose kind of stand out right in here. Let's see. Let me let me round this a little bit. <sighs> what are we looking like there time wise there, Peyton? Got about eleven minutes. How much? About eleven minutes. Eleven minutes, okay. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and uh, where his actual eyes are, where these little mask is, I'm going to just put little slots in there. And I come across here, I'll put little pencil marks in there. 
like that right there. And then I'll go in with my point end of my knife and make me some deep stop cuts there. And right along here. Like that right there. Let's do it on this side here. You just want to get some shadow in there. And when you paint right in here, you'll paint that little dark mask across there. Now, I want to go in uh, right in here. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to make some little sharper cuts there. And one right on this side to bring that nose to a more of a point like that right there now that's pretty much what you need to get that going there uh, now what I'd like to do I went in and, and I showed you how I did this over here I mean, I, I went ahead and did this. I'm going to go ahead and do it over here on this side. So I'm going to take a, uh, a bigger blade knife. <clears throat> and I'm going to come in and start shaving away at the back part of this stand or the bus area. Like that there. And then I'm going to come in, start shaving down this way. And make that, uh, this area here just a little smoother. And you can really tuck it in there. And so, but that's the bowl you want to have in it, right there, like, like that. And let's let me right in here. I'm gonna just kind of make it me a deep stop cut right in there, and kind of tuck that tuck that in right in there. Now, what I'd like to do is uh, uh, I'm going to get under, start undercutting this right in here. Uh, that's where this uh, uh, shirt right in here it kind of sticks out. So I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and cut that in. Uh, and I like to go in here with a first of all with a number nine. Just kind of open that up a little bit. Then, once you get that in there, you can go back in with a number 11, and you can go in and, and deepen that, and kind of tuck it up underneath that beard. <clears throat> and you just, it's, it's what it is, it's the clothing, and, and that area back in here is the back, it's kind of his neck area, or his chest. Like that right there. Let's see. Let me. I still want to go in and get some wood off right in here. And I'm going to take me a number seven gouge like that right there. And I'm going to come in and just kind of. Smooth that up right in there just a little bit. Like that. And I'll go back in. <clears throat> back over where the, these little chip marks are. And 
and take out those. Now, that's where I want that to be. Now I'm going to take this pencil and I'm going to draw right in here where the shirt starts coming down in. And we'll, we'll go ahead and I'm not really going to cut that in right at this moment, but I am going to go in and cut this little area out right in here. So I'll go in with a knife like this. And tuck it in like that right there. And then uh, you can kind of work it back a little bit more with the tip end of your blade. And I'm going to take my V-tool, my little quarter-inch V, and I'm going to come right down from where I've just made that cut and make me a cut. And I'm going to bring it all the way down like this. Now, before I make, I put any any buttons in there I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna undercut this right in here and take me a little sliver out right in there like that right there and you can go in and kind of Pull this shirt back a little bit right in here. But that's where I want to be right now. Now, when I'm, how much time we got going there, Peyton? We got about three minutes. How many? Three. Three? Okay. I'm going to go in and start divoting this right here. And this is a number 11. And this, is a, this takes a pretty good while to divot out. But I'll show you on here, and I, uh, I'll uh, when we when we come back on the next video, I'll, I'll do this side a little bit more and finish up. I'll get most of this divoting done off camera because it is kind of time consuming, and it's it's just like you did up here. You just make these divots, but you make it all over this. This pit, uh, area in here, that's it. That's just the fur. Uh, <clears throat> and we're going to, on the next video, we're going to just kind of go in and put buttons in and clean him up and uh, uh, just do a little, uh, see what we've missed and and uh, compare each carving, uh, the, the one I'm working on and the finished one. Uh but uh, uh, I did want to say uh, we'll have one more video on this guy here. And then uh, my, my next video, I'm gonna, uh, I told you earlier, I'm going to come up. I'm going to draw a figure on a block of wood. And we're going to cut that thing out with uh, carving tools rather than a bandsaw. Uh, I have, I've had a lot of people ask, what do you do when you don't have a bandsaw? Well, when I started carving... I didn't have access to a bandsaw. Uh, I used pretty much whatever I could uh, <clears throat> to get my shapes. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I use carving tools to do it. When I first started, I used a carpenter's chisel, a wood rasp, and a coping saw, or any kind of saw that would, would cut the wood for me. But uh, what's the time out there, Peyton? About 30 seconds. Okay, well, all right, I'm going to put that down, and uh, we're going to compare. Okay, uh, on the next uh, video, I'm going to have, well, I'll get most of this done, and we'll finish up this a little bit. Then we'll put in these buttons and these little slice marks. Uh, we'll have to go in and put the, the hair on at the end of the tail. And uh, other than that, uh, 
well we have to round the uh, round this part of the stand uh, or the base rather but guys uh, uh, w w with that uh, we're gonna leave it there and uh, I'll see you on the next video see you later bye